Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from John NH6EV. The H could indicate Hawaii, but uh, it's hard to tell these days because people with these call signs could be anywhere. He might be in Massachusetts. The only 60 meter antennas I see are monoband dipoles. Yes, that's true. That's because uh, the signals just don't work well. Is it practical to have a resonant multiband antenna 40 and 60 that include 60 meters? Uh, yes, it is. It is possible to do that. Um, or a monoband antenna the way to go, or should I just rely on tuning the SW down on an antenna that isn't resonant. I wouldn't do that. You're going to lose a lot of signal uh, doing that. You can do that. In, in, in a pinch, you may have to. Okay, I was thinking an NVIS antenna for 40 and 60. Is that practical? Yes, it is practical. You can make it the same way you'd make an 80 and a 40 meter uh, 80 and 40 meter uh, take out this part 80 and an 80 and 40 meter multiband antenna by putting a trap in it you could make a 40 and a 60 meter by putting a trap in it now I have never done this I have an antenna that I might no I gave away that antenna I may have to build an antenna and see if I can do that I'll take that as a challenge but normally now you could do a fan dipole you could do something like this. Here's your 60 meter, 60 meter antenna, which is a half wavelength of 30 meters long. And then at the feed point in the middle, bring out your 40 meter dipole for 40 meters. And that should work. Uh, you may have some fun issues uh, getting that tuned up because each one is going to affect the other. Uh, but it could uh, work very well for you if you want to use this band and this band. Okay, and of course you could stick 20 down here too and, and do whatever you like. Now, if you wanted to do it as a, um, a multiband type antenna, you would put a trap that is tuned for uh, 60 meters instead of 20 meters or whatever, 60 meter trap. And so this distance here is 66 feet for the 40 meter antenna. There's your coax. Okay, and then there's a stub coming out of here that uh, will bring the antenna into tune for 60 meters as well. I've never done this. I've never seen it done. I've never seen any instructions for doing it, but it is in theory doable. If anybody out there knows of such an antenna, let me know. So there you have it. Yes, it is theoretically possible. Uh, the fan dipole antenna should work uh, as far as the traps and things like that. I've never seen uh, any articles that suggest uh, the design for that. Um, I'm kind of curious now, see if I can try it myself. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe and click like. Uh, it helps my YouTube stats. Also, if you would like to help support this channel financially, you can do so by going to decastler.com slash support. Also, we have a giveaway every month. Go to decastler.com slash giveaway to see what the latest giveaway is. Uh, it's toward the end of June. You won't make the June giveaway, but you could very well make the July giveaway. To enter that, send me a postcard, a um, QSL card, or a single sheet of paper in uh, a letter to, Deca to uh, Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. And on that paper or postcard or whatever, put your name, call sign, and uh, the address you want it shipped to if you win, and your phone number in case I have questions. Until we next meet, 73.